by threatening to enforce SB8 against our clients, which again is well supported by the evidence in the record, Texas Right to Life and Mr. Sego are in fact violating our clients' constitutional rights. In a Travis County District Court Wednesday, debate continued over Senate Bill 8, also known as the Heartbeat Bill. Saying that they think abortion is wrong is not illegal. Advocating for the legislature to pass SB8 is not illegal. Creating a website that asks people to submit evidence of violations of the law is not illegal. The ban makes it illegal in Texas for a woman to receive an abortion after six weeks and allows private individuals to sue abortion providers or those who aid in the procedure. What they are not free to do is threaten to enforce an unconstitutional law against my clients that has the effect of not only threatening a constitutional violation to my clients, but to actually violating the constitutional rights of thousands of pregnant Texans who need abortion. The first half of this hearing was deciding on whether or not there was enough standing. The defendants say that it's not them from keeping the plaintiffs doing their job, it's the law. And that was met with pushbacks. The plaintiff said that that's completely not true and that if Planned Parenthood and other abortion clinics decide to keep going, that more and more defendants will just file more lawsuits. The plaintiffs are obviously very upset by this law. They are obviously um, upset by the actions of Texas Right to Life and John Sego, but that doesn't mean that they have standing to sue these defendants. Before the hearing, those challenging the ban spoke out. It's a terrifying feeling to not feel in control of our own body and our future. Advocates say that almost 99% of women who are seeking an abortion in Texas have had to leave the state. Who have turned a blind eye to the terrible impact of this law on the people of Texas. Adding these women have to factor in travel costs for sometimes up to two days. They say this is only accessible for those who have excess money to spend, therefore making it a violation of rights. When you allow a country to take away one of your rights, you give that same country permission to take away all of your rights. Back in the courtroom, arguments about Senate Bill 8 and its constitutionality still ongoing. Challenge the integrity of our entire legal system. The state has chosen to give the right to any person to go enforce this ban because they know they can't do it.